We are now standing on the centre point of a two and a half thousand year old brock in the central belt of Scotland. This, my friends, is how we care for our structures. Stay tuned to see more. Just north of the Antonine Wall, there are a record of four Iron Age brocks. One of those brocks, Tapak Brock or Torwood, I visited. I'll leave a little link just here or here. Now, another one of those brocks is this brock here, Lecky Brock. It was a very hard thing to find. And to be honest with you, my initial thoughts and feelings of this place changed within seconds of me getting here. It's been completely left to overgrow. And you can't really see much in the internal side of the rock. But just at the bottom, oh, oh, oh. Oh, what have we got here? This, my friends, is Lecky Brock. The Brock itself is a strategic masterpiece. Set right where two streams power off the, the hills and meet each other. You have these natural cliffs and at the top you have the walls of the Brock. So really, there's only one way in, one way out. That's that way. So, let's go. Boom, and here we have it. The grand entrance of the beautiful Brock. Which, like I said, there pretty much is not an entrance. As if you climb up this way here. All you're going to get is horrid, horrid stuff. But I kind of got here earlier. And the first thing I started doing was breaking stuff. So let's go. All right, guys, this behind me is our way to the middle. So, if you care to follow me. Okay, full wall. Massive stones. This is what I've done. And we can get up here. This is all still massive stones underneath me, guys. When you get to the middle, how do we let this happen? Disgrace. This is a very strange brock, guys. The narrative wants to tell us that before the Antonine Wall was built, these people were actually allies of the Romans. It tries to tell us that these people were given permission by the Romans to build the camp. Their evidence for this is because they found Roman artifacts and different Roman coins and all different kinds of Roman stuff. It was excavated in the 1970s and it took eight years. So tell me, if you spent eight years 
on this rock in the 1970s. Why in the hell does it look like this? Hmm? Tell me. Tell me what you're teaching our children. I'm sick of it, man. I'm absolutely sick of it. You're gonna make some wee palace and wee house, you know, like a tourist attraction. Oh, come to Traquair House and have a cup of tea. No, mate, come here and respect our people. Now we know the importance of the Brocks to historic Scotland, etc, etc. Where's our answer for these guys? They date the Brock, with permission from the Romans, they date the Brock about 2,000 years. Cup and ring marks were like two and a half thousand to four thousand years. Hmm. Do we have that here on the entrance, northeast entrance? And then you have so many of these cup grooves here. No rings that I see really, but I don't know if this is all natural. Alright my dudes, well that's me, a nice wee short video for you today, I hope you enjoyed it, didn't want to bore you. I uh, just so happened to have a wee rummage around, found some weird thing, I don't know if any of you know anything, pretty damn cool, but I also, I found an axe. Ha! <laughs> Joke guys! <laughs> I plan to go every brock in Scotland one point. Sometime. Man, if I could, I would just rip all these trees out. Apparently this land belongs to somebody. So, until the next time, hit subscribe. I'll get my, my weird thing. It wasn't an axe head, but I'll take my weird thing. <laughs> That's the crazy drop, by the way. So, yeah. I'm going to go in here, see if it's epic. Um, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and maybe once in your life you might see me again sometime. Cheerio all the day! Fuck, I dropped the camera. Bye guys! Peace.